On the mirror, we have um, now the world waits on Iran. Calls for calm as Israel revenge strike sparks fears of all-out war. Now, this is a story about Israel essentially escalating a little bit further by striking back at Iran for the recent attack on them by Iran, which was, in fact, you know, a response to the attack on the what Syrian, the consulate in Syria. So, it was but this one, the consulate, it was the building next door. But so. Oh, the building next door. Right. Well, either way, I suppose it's like um, this does seem to be more of a to me, a theatrical strike that was probably deliberately designed not to cause too much damage, but to, you know, kind of say, let off that safety valve and essentially de-escalate while escalating, which is, I guess, good for all of us if it means that World War III can be put on pause for another few months. That would be nice. Do you agree, Josh? I mean, when it broke live in the studio the other night and I had to cover it, the, the, the other attack, you know, with the drones, it, was, it felt like World War Three. Then it seemed, oh, maybe it was overblown. Maybe Iran were just saving face. But it is, obviously, I don't know. It's, well, it wasn't just drones. The drones were what started yeah, it. And then there the was 100 the ballistic top. missiles yeah, yeah. on top of that. Um, and a seven-year-old uh, child was injured in Israel. That was the only injury. But the, the difference is here. Those were to attacking civilians indiscriminately, and if they had fallen and hit their target, you know, potentially hundreds of thousands of people could have been killed. Israel retaliation was a targeted attack on a military base. There's the difference between the two. Uh, and then Iran uh, has said, oh, no, it didn't. Nothing really happened. Nothing got through. But there's footage that has emerged now of just a big explosion on a military base. So obviously the, the, the proof is uh, in the pudding, so to speak, in that Israel wanted to go, you know what? You attack us with 300 um, mm -hmm. missiles. And nothing really happens, apart from obviously the child being hurt. But we'll attack you with three and we'll blow up your base. But, so, OK. But I think, is Netanyahu going a bit rogue here? Because the US have even said we were not involved in any offensive operations. They almost want to, it sounds like they're distancing themselves. Is he sort of getting ahead of what even the US would want, would want them to do? Well, he has to because, uh, first of all, he has to, it's the Middle East. It's a different mentality. It's about a show of strength. If there is no retaliation, then it's an emboldenment of bullies of Iran here. But the other thing is that, uh, first of all, America has, can say whatever it wants uh, in, you know, to the public. What they're saying behind closed doors is, is something different. And the threat is not existential to America. The threat from, the, uh, from Iran is existential to Israel. But yeah. Israel could have absolutely, I mean, they could have gone much further than this, couldn't yeah. they? Yeah, no, no, they absolutely. Could have, could have it was done, a, but this yeah. could be the first step of of proof. But the other thing you want to say is that the, the enemy is not the Iranian people. It is the Islamic Republic. That's the big difference.